Okay, guys, this um, we're going to do our um, lesson here today. We're going to learn how to multiply mixed numbers. You're going to need a sheet of paper. So we're going to start with three and a half times two and one third. Okay, you cannot multiply three times two equals six, one times one equals one, one times two equals, or two times three equals six. You cannot get six and one six. That's not how we multiply fractions. Yes, this is complicated. Yes, it's annoying how we have to do it, but this is the actual way I have to do it. We have to practice turning these into an improper fraction. So take a moment and turn three and a half into an improper fraction. You should have gotten seven over two. Same thing over here. You have to turn this to into an improper fraction. And you're going to get seven over three. Now you can multiply them. So you're going to take seven times seven equals 49. Two times three equals six. Now you have to figure out how many times six can go into 49. Six can go into 49 eight times, giving you 48. One left over gives you one six. Let's try another one. Let's try two and one fourth times three and one fifth. First thing you have to do is turn it into an improper fraction. So take two, take a moment, take two and one fourth and turn it into an improper fraction. You should get nine over four times turn this into an improper fraction. Sixteen over five. And now you're gonna have to multiply it. And I can't do sixteen times nine in my head, so I'm gonna come over here and multiply it. So I get 144 over 4 times 5, which equals 20. And now I have to figure out how many times 20 can go into 144. Turn it into a division problem. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. That leaves me with seven. That. Excuse me. With four left over. With four twentieths. So the answer is seven and four twentieths. But four twentieths can be reduced by four, equaling seven. And one fifth. Mm. Try this one. One and one fourth times four and one fifth. Five fourths times twenty one over five. Now, those that are algebraically inclined or looking at this for a simpler way, there is a simpler way in some aspects. 
Do you see how this 5 and this 5 are parallel? They can be reduced. They both can be divided by 5, give me 1, 1. Now, if, if this cannot be reduced, they have to be reduced diagonally. See, the 4 and the 21 cannot be reduced. So therefore, I can't reduce 4 and I can't reduce 21. So let's solve this without reducing this and then check it if it is reduced. So 21 times 5 gives me 5, 105 over 20. Excuse me. 20 can go into 105 how many times? 5, right? With 1 left over. Oh, I'm sorry. With 5, 20 is left over. I was already a step ahead. 5, 20 is left over. 5, 20 is can be reduced to 5 and 1 fourth. Now, if I reduce it, I reduce, reduce this one by 5 because they both are 5, so they go 1 and 1. This gets me 1 and 21, so when I do that, I get 21 over 4. Yeah. Excuse me. 4 can go into 21 5 times with 1 fourth left over. This will not always work. Remind you, this will not always work. This is just a special case. Let's look at another one. 3 and 1 third times 2 and 1 sixth. Uh, Excuse me. Turn it into an improper. 10 over 3 times 13 over 6. Now look here. 3 and 13 cannot be reduced. They're both prime. 3 doesn't go into 13, so therefore it can't work. And 10 and 6. 10 and 6 both can be reduced by 2. So I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm going to get 5. I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm going to get 3. That's the only way I can reduce that. Let's take a moment and say I didn't reduce it. 10 times 13 gives me 130 over 18. I'd have to plug this into an equation and I'd have to take an estimate. It can't be 10. I'd have to come over here and let me just say 6. 18 times 6 gets me 48. Trade you 4. 108. I know it can go in more than 108 so let's try 18 more times. That. Excuse me. 16, trade your 1, 2, 126. That's the closest I can go without going over. So I went 6 times plus 1 equals 7. Get 126. Get you 4 eighteenths remainder. 4 eighteenths, 7 and 4 eighteenths can be reduced to 5 mm. by 2, 7 and 2 ninths. Now, when I reduced it, I get 9 over here is my bottom number. I get 13 times 5, 15, trade your 1, 5, 6, so 65 over 9. 9 can go into 65 7 times, giving you 63. Subtracting it, you get 2 nuts. Okay? Remember, if you don't know how to reduce it and you don't know how to play with this part yet, don't do it. Multiply straight across. Yes, it's going to take longer. Yes, you're going to have issues, but you're going to waste your time if you reduce it wrong and get the wrong answer. Turn it into an improper fraction. Please turn it, both of them into an improper fraction every time you do it. Do you understand? Now you can do your scavenger hunt.